Hey guys, this is Kyle with AttackOfTheFanboy.com, and I'm here at PAX East and got to check out Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. I actually have to check the, the side of... Uh, I have a special guest here. Uh, her yeah, name is do. Chrissy. She's my wife. And she stayed back at the hotel while I went to play this. Uh, she had a couple of drinks, so I figured I sure it, it'd be fun to have her comment on how terrible I am at this game. Because I, I, I played three races, Chrissy. Now you're doing fine. This is number one. Mm -hmm. This is my worst. Oh. I get better. All right. <laughs> so did you play Crash Team Racing, the old one, on uh, PlayStation? I didn't have an opportunity, no. I, I didn't either, actually. Um, I, was a, I was a Mario Kart kid. And, you know, they, obviously, that was the first thing Chrissy brought up when I showed her the footage, is that mm. this is very similar to Mario Kart, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... Um, you know, I was a Ooh, Mario Kart fan, and yeah, I I drive off the road a lot. That happens, but it is it's different. Um, anyone who played it can kind of say that. I, I guess it's more mature. I guess it's a more serious racing game. There's a lot more mechanics to it. How um, are the controls? So that was what I was struggling with. Um, was that I was driving it like it was Mario Kart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There is drifting. There's hopping. There's weapons. There's all this stuff. But the drifting feels very different. It's actually a lot more complicated. If you look in the bottom right corner, um, there's a meter and that fills up as you drift and you need to hit a button when it's maxed out to get mm. your boost. It's not just automatic. Like All right. It, like it is in other kart racers. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, what is, as someone who didn't play the game at all, I played it a couple of times when, on PlayStation. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, what, aside from its similarities to Mario Kart, what stands out at you here? Uh, so what are the different types of weapons, I guess? Because I saw that rainbow Whew. that was kind of rolling that was, around. Yeah, that was another... Uh, oh, um, that guy seems Yeah, pretty. I got eaten. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, that was another thing that I kind of had to get used to was, was all the different weapons. There's like a bomb thing where you get like three bombs you fire at people. There's Ooga Booga, who's from the, the platformer. Um, you, you know, he just kind of circles your cart and protects you and you can run into other people so it's there was a, a decent variety i mean i'm sure that they're all from the original game i just didn't play it enough to have them memorized and knew i mean there's the fake tnt box you can put that down uh, i was getting a lot of ooga boogas because i was I, honestly the other big thing like no one in our group there were four press people there no one won a race the ai won every race hmm. they're a lot tougher and there's all these like i tried for for this uh shortcut here i guess or whatever it is but obviously didn't handle it very well um so but yeah. the opportunity to be more challenging i guess yeah yeah you can be more strategic um you know the, the maps are really complicated really complex a lot of different paths and stuff i mean um, you definitely found all of the walls i did find all of the walls <laughs> <laughs> good job good job <laughs> um yeah so i mean that was that was the first race like i said that was my worst um, I got better as it went along. So are there different cars? Did you pick just like the default? Or? There are different cars. Um, yeah, so there's different characters, different cars. I didn't I didn't get a feel for how different they actually play mm. in the game, but I did swap around. I think my next match, I'm actually um, Crash, yeah, and then the, the final one. You um, know, typically if you have a heavier character, yeah, it has it an impact, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I didn't see or feel those uh, differences just in my, you know, one game right after the other, but I'm sure that they're in there. How much do you feel like the stuff that's kind of along the side of the road, like you saw those plants? Yeah, the hazards. Like, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty tough. Um, just because, well, if you're not drifting right, then they're, they essentially close off part of the track. So, mm. you know, if you, where I was trying to drift, you always want to stay in the middle or, or towards the inside, but I was drifting everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, um, just wanted to cover the entire track. Yeah. Get your, you know, get, get your money's worth, I guess. Yeah, of course. So, um, you know, we're coming up on the, the second, um, race here. We just kind of talked in the, in the middle. I'll have to cut out those menus. So whatever you see, that's what I threw in there. Um, but yeah, I got a little bit better. This is a, this is a much cooler track. I think, um, kind of more techno oh yeah <laughs> so 
So did you get the opportunity to choose between tracks or did no. it just put you on the tracks? Yeah. Okay. Well, this was, you know, they were they were very specific. They had stuff that they wanted us to see. So the these three tracks that we played were the three tracks that, were, hmm. that we checked out. And I think that they're going to be on the show floor at PAX as well. I mean, the game definitely is. I'm not sure... Uh, which tracks they're going to have down what there. Was your, what were your thoughts on the complexity of the tracks? Um, do, you, do you feel like it was kind of beginner, or did they give you a, a good variety? They jumped us into the deep end. So some mm-hmm. of the people who had played uh, more, more CTR than I did, um, and these also, this is a mixture of uh, CTR and um, C&K, which is Crash Nitro Kart, the oh, sequel. Oh, of course. So, yeah. Just filling, filling Chrissy in. She wants, she's <laughs> a purist here. Um, so, yeah, um, I think this is a CNK track. And, yeah, the, the people who had played the game before were like, these, these were really complex ones. There's simpler ones. There's the, you know, intro tracks that you can kind of go on. But they threw us into the deep end here just to, to see all these mechanics and stuff. Do you notice any sort of rubber banding, like when you got, you know, closer to the back of the back? The pack, did you get close to the back of the pack, or did you say more middling? Yeah, no, I was in the back most of the time. No. I think there's eight racers, and you can see I'm mostly in sixth through uh, seventh and eighth. But, um, so, yeah, I mean, I, did you feel like you got any advantage for I, that? Or? You get better items. You know, okay. it's it's a similar system to what you see in Mario Kart. I don't think that there's full-blown rubber banding, where it's actually, like, speeding you up and slowing the AI down. The AI especially, like... They just ran away with these games. They are really tough to beat. So if you don't know what you're doing and you just jump into a match with the AI thinking that you're going to trounce them, it's not going to happen. Hmm. Okay, did they tell you what level the AI were? Or I think it's just the default. I don't know that there's actual difficulty choices for the AI. We'll, we'll, have, to, we'll have to see how that turns out. But, yeah. Yeah, so this is CTR. Very interesting. I can yeah. definitely see a lot of similarities with other games in this genre. Mm-hmm. Um, what would you say makes this unique to other games? Um, I mean, the drift mechanics, definitely. I mean, this is, you know, there aren't that many more. There aren't that many cart <laughs> racers out there. A little, a little slip. But, yeah, I mean, it, it acts as an interesting counterpoint, honestly, to Mario Kart. It, mm-hmm. it, 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 if you have a Switch, you probably have Mario Kart 8. You've probably played every track multiple, multiple times. And this is coming out on Switch. This is going to be on Switch, PS4, Xbox. So, you know, it's it's a nice addition to, and it's it's interesting to see how the differences kind of play out with the tougher AI. I mean, load up Mario Kart, and it's just a blowout every single time, unless something crazy happens. You get a blue shell or whatever. Uh, this is actually a lot more challenging. There's a lot more complexity to how you use the weapons. Not everything was like a homing missile. Um, these bombs, you have to aim really, really well. So it, it I don't want to say that it's the, the grown-up Mario Kart, but that is the feeling that I got back in the day, and that's the feeling that I'm getting now. I mean, this is a, a remastering. It looks gorgeous, uh, especially in comparison. They had some footage of the PS1 game, and it's just like it's night and day. Um, and they also did bring up the fact that, like, they went in. It's, it's not just the, a coat of paint. Like, they they updated the characters. They updated their models. They made it so that they're animated and stuff like that. So it's tough to see without a comparison, but um, it is a huge upgrade on the original. And it looks like you got the opportunity to play against some other online players, or we were all go? local. Yeah, oh, okay. um, yeah, we were. We still had to log in a PSN, which was a little bit of an issue, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was four of us in a room uh, against four AI, so um, it was all local. Um, but they did bring up, you know, it's they're they've got the tracks from CTR, the tracks from CNK. They've got the battle mode. The battle mode is all online, which is a huge improvement over what we've seen from some other kart racers out there. Um, so yeah, it's it seems like a really nice, robust package, especially if you were a fan of the original. But if you haven't played it like me. You can be terrible at it. Right. So as you said, you have uh, first through eighth, and you're, you know, keeping so, it yeah, yeah. keeping it real back there. Yep. How, is that the most players that you can have is eight? Uh, I don't think so. I'm guessing you can have more, but I don't remember. Mm. I'd have to, have to check on that. Yeah, I did not come in last. I'll ha- I, I take that as a badge of honor. 
Someone else came in last multiple times. <laughs> you know, so we talked a little bit about the rubber banding. How did you feel like once you got back towards the back of the pack, did you kind of feel like it was difficult to catch up? Did you feel it like you was. weren't catching as much of a break? It Well, it was... It was not it wasn't. It was until I started to kind of get the drifting mechanics down and mm. figure out how to how to trigger my my boosts and everything. Once you get that down, it was it was a lot easier to catch up. I think it, that happens in my third match, um, where I'm actually really far back, and I I think I placed fourth by the end of the race, which was a triumph. <laughs> it was a real fifth is actually pretty pretty decent so those top four are those that was, NPCs I, those or? were all the ai yeah oh the ai won i was the best out of all the humans well, there in, you this, go. in this match <laughs> <laughs> yeah so um we'll we'll just leave i'll throw the third uh race on there um just at the end but yeah any final thoughts any any other questions looks interesting i would definitely want to check it out i want to see what characters are available and the carts that are available and what are the modifications that i could do to the cart to kind of make myself a little bit better you know see see if i can get the edge yeah yeah there, there's definitely different carts definitely different characters um we couldn't show all of that but um that'll be in there i'm not sure about modifying the cart uh if that was in the original i'm sure it carried over but yeah we'll see we'll see when it comes out i think it's coming out in june all so. right all right so that was crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Thanks.